Following a previous video in regards to upgrading RAM in a Dell notebook, I've had tons of questions with regards to RAM in general. Let's take some time to address some of these questions. Welcome to Ifty's Tech Corner, where today we are taking a good look at why to upgrade RAM, how to upgrade RAM, and how to test your RAM following a successful upgrade. Upgrading your random access memory, known as RAM, is one of the simplest and most cost-effective ways to speed up your computer. Upgrading your memory is especially helpful if you edit photos and videos, are a gamer, or you are noticing your computer slow down as you run more than one program at any one time. Computer memory upgrades can be purchased for just about every operating system and computer available. Whether your computer is 5 years old or 5 days old, purchasing a RAM upgrade is a cheap way to make your computer work faster. While typical systems these days come with 4 gigs of RAM, some may feel that a casual user does not need an upgrade even to 8 gigs of RAM. I beg to differ. These days, even casual users in the usage of multiple browser tabs, word processors, and perhaps simple photo editing tools can reach the limits of their RAM, especially considering the amount Windows 7 likes to eat up, for example. There are literally thousands of different computer memory upgrades available at different sizes and speeds. All of the different acronyms can become overwhelming. However, it is vitally important to find the correct RAM upgrade for your computer. I'm using my personal system as an example here. Here I have a 2012 MacBook Pro 13. This was the higher spec 13 inch with a 2.9 GHz Core i7 processor and you've seen me upgrade the hard drive in another video, but we'll come to that later. The system itself came with 8 gigs of RAM which I'm finding limiting, especially when using a video editing program, as well as having several other applications open at the same time. And that's a good way to tell if you need more RAM. If you use many applications simultaneously and find your computer slowing down a little, you've probably used up your RAM. Other ways to tell if you need more RAM, keeping things as basic as possible, are to use your computer normally and then use a utility like Task Manager in Windows or Activity Monitor in OS X, check the RAM usage and see how much is in use and how much is free. So what exactly causes the system to slow down? Well, when your computer needs to write some temporary data, it writes this to RAM. Since retrieving that from memory is much quicker than retrieving data from your hard drive, when your system has used up all that available RAM, your computer is having to write data to your hard drive instead, hence making the overall system seem slightly slower, since retrieving data from a spinning hard disk is slower than RAM. Now coming back to my system here, I'm finding 8 gigs of RAM a little limiting for what I use my system for, so let's proceed to the next step, looking for a compatible upgrade. Before purchasing more memory, go to a manufacturer's website to use a RAM configurator which will allow you to find the memory that will work best for you. Personally, I found that Crucial has one of the best websites for finding the RAM needed to maximise your computer's efficiency. For every system I've used in the past, I've always used Crucial memory and I've never had a single issue with RAM modules from Crucial. They come highly recommended. So back to the original question, which type of RAM is compatible with your system? We know that RAM comes in different types and it also comes in different speeds and you need to find a RAM that's compatible with your system. Get one that's too slow and you'll create a bottleneck. Get one that's too fast and you'll end up paying more for something that your system will use at a slower speed anyway. So onto Crucial's website. We can either use a system scanner or if we click this tab we can select compatible RAM by choosing a few quick simple options in regards to the system you have. Just choose your manufacturer, your model and then drill down to the exact system you have. Simple. You're then presented with your results. So for example these are all the configuration options available for my system. Crucial RAM is both affordable and, so long as you use their tools to identify your machine, completely guaranteed to work in your system. Now I've 8 gigs of RAM in this system at the moment and I've decided to upgrade to 16 gigs. So here's my 16 gigabyte kit from Crucial. We know it's going to be compatible as I've been through the memory checker on Crucial's website and as I said I've been using Crucial RAM in various systems for many years and have yet to come across a bad module so I'm pretty confident in this kit. Bear in mind, although I have a laptop kit here, Crucial do sell desktop kits as well. Upgrading your system will vary depending upon the make and model. Desktop RAM is longer and held in with two clips at each end. Simply pull the clips apart to unseat and remove the old RAM and push in the new ones. 
the clips will automatically hold the module in place. With the laptops, it's slightly different. Again, you need to consult your system's user guide, but generally with some systems, such as this Dell notebook, you can undo a few screws, remove a small panel from the underside of the machine to reveal the RAM location. With MacBook Pros, on the other hand, you need to remove all screws from the underside of the system, remove the entire bottom base to reveal the RAM modules. Either way, once you have located your RAM modules, simply pull the two retaining clips holding the module in place apart. The module pops up and you can simply pull the module out of its connector. To insert your new RAM, slide the module in at a 30 degree angle, taking care to have the module the right way around. To make it easier, the module will only ever fit one way. Simply line up the small notch in the module with the notch in the connector here. Push the module down until it clicks into place and the retaining clips on each side are in place and then repeat for the second module. Finally, place the cover you previously removed back on your system and tighten the screws. Simple. As I said, I've never had a bad memory module from Crucial, but a bad module can cause unpredictable behavior in both Windows and Mac systems, including the dreaded Windows blue screen of death. To avoid this, it's a good idea to test your RAM once you've upgraded. A quick internet search will reveal several programs that can be run to test your RAM. I personally recommend Memtest. Crucial, as well as other memory manufacturers, generally recommend Memtest as well, as it's a good way of testing your RAM. It's free and available on both the Windows and Mac platforms. I'll leave some links in the description box of this video on how to download and use Memtest. Testing RAM may take a while, but it's worth taking the time to check your RAM and hopefully your results should come back all positive. Congratulations, you've just upgraded the RAM in your system. Generally, you'll find the machine boots much faster, lags much less when multitasking, and in general behaves better and more smoothly with increased RAM than without it. The Crucial RAM kit I received was professionally packaged and worked beautifully, and the tools on Crucial's website make it extremely simple to find the exact model of kit that will be perfect for your machine. So head over to Crucial.com and give your machine that extra boost in performance. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please feel free to like this video, it really does help me out. Don't forget to subscribe though, as you'll automatically be entered into my 2013 monthly giveaway. Click the logo above for more details. See you soon on Ifti's Tech Corner.